Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can make a stopwatch in Unreal Engine. So when I press the start button, the timer will start. You can see when I press stop, the timer will stop. When I press resume, the timer will resume. We can also lap the time, lap time and overall time. We can resume lap as much as we, as we need. We can reset it. When we press reset, all the time will be reset. Then we can also play again. So yeah, that's it. We add a button to exit button. When you press our game, will, we will exit the game or application. If anybody like my channel then please like and share it. If anybody like my channel content then please subscribe and press the bell button. If you press the bell button then you will get update when I upload any video. You can also press subscribe button from my video bottom left side. So let's start to make the project open Unreal Engine 4.272 or whatever version you want. You can use any version you want i choose game next a blind project name whatever name you like i choose uh, the name is stopwatch stopwatch 2 i have previous one project and i change the uh, still able 1d 2d and for mobile tablet device so clear the project yes now make some folder stop watch now you make another folder image i make one folder for map and i make another the last one it's for widget we done making folder So now create a widget. I name it gameplay. You can name it whatever you want. And now I create a map. I name it stopwatch. Now I just import the image. I should import, I should move it to the right folder. now save all go to project setting map and mode and choose the map what we create now go inside our widget folder and open the gameplay widget now place a image name it background made the anchor to full now choose a color whatever you like i choose a bluish color i like it i should change it a little bit yeah that's fine compile and save now place a text I give the font size to 90 and size to content I enclose it in middle and alignment 0.5 and I should make it little higher like yeah that's fine I think mm, I should duplicate it one more time and and move it little up yeah, that's fine I should reduce the font size like 50 yeah mm, that's fine compile 
now move few buttons scale the size Now uh, make it to two fifty uh, and one hundred and ten. Now add a text. Uh, name it uh, start. Make the font size fifty. Change the button name to start and we can anchor it on middle and move the position on y axis. We add few buttons uh, so we should duplicate it few times. Uh, I should name it is a stop I change the button name to stop so we can recognize duplicate it one more time and name it uh, resume um, change the button name also duplicate one more time and change the name to lap also change the button name to lap now duplicate for the last time and I made the name to reset change the text reset and change the button name to reset compile and save now we should do um, add a scroll box and for it on middle change the edge position like this yes minus 3 50 and uh, y axis to minus 80 or 100 yes that's fine and scale it like this yes now add a horizontal box with it and add uh, three text into the horizontal box yes uh, i should duplicate it one time and uh, yeah make it fill uh, and duplicate it yeah we add three text into horizontal box and go to editor preference and turn off the auto save it's your choice you can do it or don't do it now name the first text to lap uh, and second one lap time and uh, third one overall time overall time not times mm duplicate the horizontal box yes you see and we add a variable here so doesn't matter what name you choose here uh, give uh, whatever name we like i give it zero zero and i give it like text uh, or something it doesn't matter whatever you give here Uh, change the name number one and make it a variable 
I change it to lab one and make it a variable and change the name into overall one and make it a variable compile and save now go to our ed uh, draft editor and select number uh, something we miss mm, yeah I, what is it yes it should be variable yeah compile and save now select lab and the uh, category should be lab and uh, number one and the category should be number and select overall and category should be overall i'm doing this because i want it like a beautiful organized organized way now uh, name the horizontal box to horizontal box main make it a variable and uh, uh, category should be horizontal box yes and now it should be horizontal box one and make it a variable and this should be on the horizontal box category also compile and save yes we did background should not be any variable just yes remove it yes so now we should make a few variables and name the variable to start press it should be boolean uh, create another boolean it should be lab create another variable it should be name last lap now we should create a few uh, float variable uh, seconds uh, create another it should be overall time create another variable it should be lap time create another it should be count and it should be uh, integer now create another variable uh, name it uh, test color it should be this now duplicate it and name it uh, text color 2 we need it later from and save now select our text and create a binding get uh, seconds variable and time second to string and add it to with return value oops to return value yes to text align it compile uh, name it seconds now add the second variable with event teeth get the second value uh, plus add it with uh, world uh, delta second get world delta second and add it with seconds now compile and save now if we go with our uh, now we should do some work uh, add uh, open level blueprint and create uh, widget and add it with example 
uh, add to viewport uh, let player controller and add set show widget uh, uh, set uh, show mouse cursor we want to see our mouse cursor now press f11 and play the level and you see the seconds are uh, start we didn't add any button yet i'm button blueprint yet we will add it but our second worth uh, we do it now let's uh, move it forward little and add a um, variable here uh, add the condition start pressed now if we go to our start button and uh, add it with the start press boolean variable and make it uh, true our time didn't start uh, when we start the level but if we press the start button it will start you can see our one button work done now we will do uh, the others button work so now select stop when you press stop our timer will stop so just copy the start pressed uh, variable add it with the stop button and unteeth uh, the boolean now if we start our uh, level uh, we can start it and we can stop it you can see you see it when we press stop the time will stop yes our two button work done now resume button now uh, go to the uh, gameplay graph now resume button uh, when we press it one click uh, start press uh, variable would be true again now if you uh, press the start button it will start if you press the stop button it will stop and if you press resume you see it will resume we can start we can resume we can back and we can do yes our three button work is done you can see it now we can uh, we have to add two more button now go to the reset button and start press should false and timer should be zero compile and save and lab button we okay first plate we can start we can stop we can resume and we can reset you see when you press the reset button the timer will stop and all time would be zero now lab button when we click lab uh, print string add a print string just uh, add the seconds value here yes uh, we can check the print string when we press we start the button we stop resume and when you press lab uh, look at the uh, top uh, left corner you see the left timer add there yes so um, by this you can add the lap time it's very easy now go to the uh, widget and select uh, stop resume lap uh, now we just organize something to look it more better stop would be visible it would be hidden same with resume same with lap and same with reset compile and save now remove few button from 
middle and we just organize the button position uh, we should give color to our button so it looks like more nice I choose the start button and change in the background color uh, little like uh, yes like greenish like this give it a good position like 150 and 260 yes uh, that should be good position uh, same thing we do with the stop button we change the color like reddish you know when we stop it become like a red type uh, match it Let's copy background color and choose lab background color make it a little lighter green copy it and apply on reset yes compile and save now set it a position like this 260 and it should be like this yes minus 150 yes uh, alignment should be one yes it's fine uh, select stop button and leave it the exact same position like the start button uh, its position is 150 and y, uh, y position is uh, 260 uh, place it like this yes so it goes under uh, one select stop button and just uh, hide the visibility yes now select resume button and leave uh, uh, leave same position x position 150 and uh, y position uh, 260 and uh, hide the visibility it is uh, exact same position all right now select reset change the color uh, and I give it 1 minus 150 and 260 and hide the visibility perfect now the thing is when we press start start button will hide and uh, our stop button will show so how we do uh, how we do that we press start uh, then start button get start button and set the visibility uh, start button visibility uh, should be hidden at the executive uh, pin yes and the stop uh, button should be uh, no comment just copy it uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V delete the start button add the node and add here uh, the uh, not lap uh, stop uh, yes stop and lap uh, both because we want to show the lap button uh, it should be visible yes compile and save now play the game there is only one button there is no button when you place a start the stop and left button show and stop button hide but when we uh, press the stop button then we show we see the resume button ctrl c ctrl v at the executive pin uh, resume should be visible uh, resume button should be visible and left bottle uh, also should be visible mm, 
no uh, stop button uh, when we no uh, stop button should be hit and left button should hit and uh, resume and reset button should be visible yes compile and save and now control c uh, control v at the executive pin and just uh, when you press resume then resume and reset uh, button should be hidden and delete it and copy uh, stop and lab uh, button edit it should be visible uh, remove resume reset yes now compile and save now press f11 play the game uh, start we see lap and stop when you press stop we see resume and reset button uh, when we press resume then we will show stop and lap button again when you press stop there is again a resume and reset yes but when we press reset everything will be reset and uh, it uh, uh, became like beginning so we can add the reset button uh, go to the uh, save everything go to the gameplay and reset button uh, we can do one more thing we can just uh, open the level again uh, it would like uh, reset the level uh, copy the level name ctrl c ctrl v and paste the level name here to open level function compile and save mm, change the reset uh, don't uh, uh, copy the red uh, color and set it on the reset button uh, start lab resume reset resume reset lab reset uh, reset everything will be zero fine that's what we want now set the text to hidden and set the scroll box to hidden also it would look nice and uh, add another button we want to exit so uh, give it to the top right corner and select our image and add get the image on hover pressed uh, and uh, normal yes uh, change the pressed color when you press the button it should be like a little blackish it uh, made the hover color a little blackish not too much yes select the I change it like you can change the color you know it's white so you can change the color so when we press it uh, change the button name to wait QAYT and add uh, wait name and a specific player should be get on in player uh, compile and save uh, f11 and there is nothing we start a lap we can lap resume we stop reset it will be zero yes perfect fine that's what we want now add uh, we will add some uh, left time here uh, we, sh we add uh, a sequence node we should add our uh, left seconds here create two branch edit uh, first branch should be lap uh, second branch should be start pressed 
add it to it now uh, we need to create another variable i think uh, duplicate uh, name it uh, seconds 2 I create the seconds I copy add and get delta seconds set seconds to add it add the value it should be left second it uh, should more now the horizontal boxes uh, should be uh, a variable and it would be visible when we start our left seconds uh, delete uh, the lap add overall time uh, set seconds lap should be true lap time should be zero uh, and left seconds yes left seconds lap time should be and left seconds should be zero Our uh, scroll both should be a variable main yes variable and it should be set visible when you press the lap it should say uh, show the uh, scroll box set visibility this one Now get the count at a plus align it the same position. Now switch uh, on int edit uh, at few button and remove the default. Add a print string. And give the value to one. Copy it and paste. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. And Control C, Control V. We post five print string and give them the number one, two, three, four, five. Uh, now add the button we add five button control um, lap yes uh, it print in one why Uh, yes we did something wrong add it here and add it here it always uh, increase one count lap one two three four five yes uh, we did our we done it Now we have to do a uh, few work on text. Go to uh, with our text and add count, add a second, and add here overall a time. And uh, 
here is uh, bind in seconds to it would be lap uh, seconds calculate in here lap seconds uh, print string to print second to string and add on return value compile save now mm, start now lap it always uh, change our lap time lap uh, yes but uh, here is something odd or oh, it didn't uh, did not print in our lap time here uh, yes we can reset it mm, it should show our what is the text name Achha, yeah text uh, blot uh, text blot 2 is it variable yes it is it's variable add it to its set visibility now if we press start and press lap uh, our time our lap time would be show here yes every time we lap it reset and it start from zero and we can lap uh, how much time we want yes now i want to lap time show lap time or than uh, 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 serially like one to uh, and for that uh, we can we should go to the graph and uh, we should copy the horizontal box like five time what happened here enter yes uh, five time now give the number uh, horizontal box two horizontal box three horizontal box four and horizontal box five now it should be number one it should be left two left one and overall one and everything should be a variable it should be number two left two and overall two it should be a variable also now i quickly doing the third horizontal text says go to the fourth name everything for and I'll go to the horizontal box 5 and name everything 5 so we can understand you can make many more if you want but if you go there you, you can see that yes everything every variable uh, is stored here so what we do we'll change the text color one is fine and the text color two should be white mm, okay compile and save now we should uh, <coughs> uh, text uh, number one we should uh, set text block to set text we should choose set text copy it ctrl c ctrl v and add it with another now choose text color and set uh, color and opacity and add the uh, text color one now organize it alignment state and alignment uh, 
lap 1 should be target on set text second and overall one should be target on set text next now choose count uh, get the count variable and add it in text it uh, the count value should be uh, converted into text uh, get lab time and add it in text get overall time and add it in text uh, select everything and add it here connect it compile and save now ctrl c and ctrl v add it with Uh, make it a function uh, name whatever you want i name it history delete just delete that target name it count second one should be lap and third one should be overall compile and save add it uh, to the to here and just add the target it should be number it should be lap 2 and it should be overall 2 add copy color and opacity add it and it should be color and opacity 2 Copy it. Control C, Control V. Add it with three. Add it with four. Make it little behind. Con Control C, Control V. Add it with five. Now just change the change the target. It should be overall three. It should be overall four number four left four it should be left five number five and overall five compile and save yeah, we miss something uh, yes we miss the target add the color and opacity target compile save yes it's done so now we play we start lap oh no it's showing too earlier we should do a little more work horizontal boxes we should show horizontal boxes when it uh, when we press the number uh, make it all hidden from 2 to 5 No one should be hidden too. Yes. Mm. 
now get the text box one and set visibility it should be visible uh, we copy it and paste it it should be horizontal box 2 copy and paste copy and paste mm. copy and paste to get something messy we should organize it a little bit make it little lower yes now change the horizontal box number four five it should be horizontal box three and it should be horizontal box two compile and save i make it little organized way now we should do one more thing it should be text color not text color too and I should copy all, all of this control C control V edit yeah. I should copy it or just get it number one uh, lap number one and overall number one and text should be text two add it to the target control all to add it into the target control all three and add it to the target control all four and add it to the target from pile and save now we can test it we start lab uh, to is something wrong with one uh, it's fine on three left 4 left 5 yes it's work mm, i did something wrong maybe let me check yes overall 2 we should change it to overall 1 now it's fine compile and save and check it lap 1 lap 2 lap 3 lap 4 lap 5 this is uh, this is the way we can add uh, as much as the left time we want i just add 5 uh, after that i just add 20 you can add the same way 20 lap i add 20 lap uh, so uh, this is for today the next day i will uh, export the apk file and upload it on, to, on google play you can see that uh, I'll show that on the next uh, next uh, tutorial. So this is for today. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope uh, bye, everybody.